Hey there, it's Yvonne Balot, the On Purpose Entrepreneur, where I help part-time home business entrepreneurs leverage their time, energy, and resources so they can focus on profit-producing activities. Essentially, I help you work smarter, not harder. And so I'm excited to share with you about 2017 and having your breakthrough year. And so uh, this year, you know, can be anything you desire it to be. And it just uh, has to start off with the mentality that you're going to get whatever you desire out of it. Um, and just a personal, you know, personal story for me is that in the end of 2016, I was asking God to give me a breakthrough for the year. Like I want, I felt like I had a great year, you know, financially, our family did really well. And, you know, we're, we're still a unit. We still love each other. Everything was going well, still working, building businesses, husbands working, everything's going well. Um, but I wanted something to really shift and change in a significant way for the upcoming 2017 year. And so I asked God, Lord, I really want to have a shift or a breakthrough before the year happens. And so, you know, essentially nothing really took place um, until 48 hours before the new year. And so 48 hours, I'm recording this on the first, 48 hours ago, I got a level of breakthrough um, that really, um, that really kind of shifted and rocked me. And I was so excited about it. And so it's so new that I really can't discuss it, but... What I want to do is kind of take you through um, the three elements of a breakthrough. And so I'm going to be sharing with you another breakthrough that I had about maybe two, two and a half years ago that really helped me see how I can operate better in the marketplace. And it was really a limiting belief that I had a shift on. I want to share this with you. So there's really three areas or three phases to a breakthrough. Number one you before before i say that actually a breakthrough really happens is when you get new levels of information that breaks your belief in something you're getting new data that breaks the belief in something so that's the breaking that happens in order for something new to happen in order for a through to happen something has to break so what typically is shattered is a belief that you've held on to and you're getting new insight new data to say wow that's actually not true or wow i never saw it in that way or wow there's another way to look at this and so this is where the breakthrough happens. And so once you have a breakthrough, we call them aha moments, you know, you, you call, you know, moments of lightning, whatever the case might be, you got to identify what was exactly that breakthrough. You know, it's typically like a sentence, what exactly shifted for you? So number one, figure out what exactly shifted for you. So for myself, as an example, I was at a, I was at a conference and um, I don't exactly know what the speaker said, but what I what I heard or what I internalized, what the speaker was saying was, um, the sentence was, um, I want to be influential, but I don't want to be influenced. And so I was like, wow, I want to be a lead. It's essentially, I want to be a leader in that um, marketplace, but I don't want to be led. I want to be trusted in the marketplace, but I don't want to trust. So that was a huge breakthrough to say, you know what? I'm I'm saying with my mouth that I want something, but my actions are not lining up with what I actually desire. And so with that, I had to go to step number two and figure out, well, now that I realize that's a fallacy, now that I realize that that's incorrect thinking, that's an incorrect belief, you know, there's like a glitch in the matrix, then I've got to figure out, okay, what exactly do I need to do? What exactly do I need to do to correct it? Like what kind of shift in thinking do I have to do to actually get on the right course of thinking? Because just because you know something is wrong doesn't mean that you do anything about it. How many people know that's true? 
you might know that's very well to be true because I know there's a lot of things I bring up to consciousness that still I don't do right. And so I could have just been like, wow, I just never realized like I'm trying to be a leader out here in the marketplace, but I'm not really being led. I'm not really trusting anybody to lead me. And I don't, I don't really think anybody has anything in my best interest. But what I decided to do was like, well, what kind of coaches do I need to invest in? What kind of books do I need to read? What kind of audio? What kind of podcasts? What kind of videos? What kind of new information do I need to put into me um, to understand that, you know, you know, leaders are top students. Leaders are servants. Leaders are followers and leaders lead by example. And so there's trust issues, there's, there's, there's leadership issues, right? And so I had to go out and read books on leadership. I had to go out and read books on influence and persuasion and really understanding what all those things mean so I can wrap my, so I can create a new belief around, you know, those who are, inf those who are influential uh, are influenced, Right. That's the new belief that I want to believe. And I can trust those who are influencing me. Right. And so I had to do something new. Um, I had to I had to, you know, get new data in me. So that was number two. Number three, I had to create an action plan on doing that consistently. So I had to take action. So now I know I'm going to read. The, I know now I know I need to read books, and I need. But now I got to exercise and take action on this new thought, this new belief. Right? It's not a breakthrough unless you do something new. So if I'm not out doing videos, putting out content, showing people that I'm a leader and an expert in the marketplace, showing people that I'm helpful and useful, and um, I'm a trusted advisor then that's not really a breakthrough, you know, because what you, what you, what people can constitute as like a breakthrough, it's just the first area, the first part of a breakthrough, but a breakthrough has an evolution and it doesn't really find its completion unless the action has changed. You know, the belief that you have creates, is generated through the act of, uh, not generated, but it, you know, is transmitted through the actions that you take. So whatever you believe, your actions will follow suit. And when you're thinking limiting about yourself, you will never, ever, ever do something that's contradictory to who you believe you are. Let me say that again. You will never do something that's contradictory to who you believe you are. Right. Whoever you believe you are. So I at the time I was believing, well, you know, leaders, leaders are, you know, they always have an agenda. They always have something up their sleeve. And so I could never see myself as a leader because that would be contradictory to the belief that I had, even though I wanted to be a leader, even though I said that out of my mouth. But I had a contradictory belief about myself as related to leaders. So I could never be a leader out in the marketplace until my actions didn't line up. I wasn't doing the videos. I wasn't doing the, the webinars and the trainings and sharing the content and the knowledge that I had. Until it took, you know, still putting myself in the atmosphere of going to conferences and going, listening to personal development and stuff to actually be able to grasp that breakthrough. But once I did, I had to make that shift, right? I had to do what leaders do. I had to, you know, put myself um, in a different mindset, in a different mind frame, and actually carry myself in a much better stance so I can show up better in the marketplace, okay? So let me go over these three again. Number one, number one, you want to identify the insight. You've got a breakthrough. You want to identify the insight. Number two, you want to... Um, you want to add new data to what you're doing, to the belief, right? So you have a current certain belief, you want to erase that belief and add new data so you can correct that belief. And number three, you want to take action on the new belief. So go out and take action. A lot of times, um, 
you know, your belief won't be, you know, solid unless you take action on it. And a belief is simply a thought that you think repetitively, right? Just like me, I, I know that I know that I know that I know my husband loves me, but I know that I know that I know that I know, um, you know, God is my savior. There's things that you just know that you know, because it's a belief. And so when you believe, I believe, right? I know that I know that I know that I'm a leader in the marketplace, people that I can serve people. And so when you know things, you just believe and you, be, when your belief transfers to your knowing and it shows up in your marketing, it shows up in your content, it shows up when you communicate. And so I hope this was very helpful, kind of long, but I hope this is helpful breakthroughs are meant to break break your thought prop pattern it's like a it's like a pattern interrupt it's exactly what it is it's a pattern interrupt and it jolts you to say is this true is this possible is this plausible is there a different way of thinking about it and now you have the opportunity to do something about the limiting belief or belief that wasn't serving you and take action on it, okay? If you want to learn more about trainings like this or really personal development on a daily basis and you want to get around a community that's really helping you master your mind, I want you to visit freedomonpurpose.com. You can learn more about, you know, a simple system that also is attached to a community that really helps you master your mind, master your thinking, so you can actually master every other area of your life, your family, your relationships, spiritual life, and your health. And so visit freedomonpurpose.com. You can learn more there to the next video. Bye.